what I did was I went down here, I created a new calendar, I set up test and then accounts. I created the calendar, I went to configure. Okay, so we're gonna start adding people to the shared area. And let's say I want anyone who's on the exec team to manage changes and manage sharing. Send that off. And then anyone who's on the accounts team to make changes to events. So someone on the accounts team can basically create, make changes to events. And then we want the whole company because we're you know open and transparent company. We want the whole team to be able to see the event details. So they can see what the marketing team is up to, but they can't change any of the marketing team's events. That would be a basic permission structure if you wanted to go to that level. But of course, if you want to keep it really simple, you will keep it really simple. But here is some magic for you guys. Here is some magic. We're going to go, we've got a team sync there, right? Let's do a fresh one. Let's do a marketing team sync. So I'm going to make a marketing team sync here. Oh no, sorry, accounts. I keep thinking marketing because that's the team that I work with every day. All right. We'll call it a weekly account sync, right? So we're going to repeat this one weekly. Weekly on Thursday. We're going to add guests and we're going to add the group, right? Pretty straightforward. Okay. Test accounts. Cool. And I can expand that and see everyone who's in that group. So when I click save, it's going to send everyone in that group a recurring invite to our weekly account sync. Oh, wait, I've got to put it on the calendar. Okay, it's going on the calendar and let's make it a different, uh, we'll make the calendar a different color. All right. Now we have our meeting here, right? We have our people added to our meeting and they're going to start accepting that meeting because they're part of the current team. This is a repeating meeting, so it's going to show up every week. We're going to have our accounts meeting. But remember that we have one more person who joined our company recently. So we have Test Peter here. So Test Peter has just joined our company and has just joined the accounts team. But Test Peter needs to come along to the finance team meeting every week. So what are we going to do? Are we going to go to the finance team meeting and are we going to add Peter as a guest? No, we're not. This is the accounts team here. We've got our recurring event. Where are we going to add Peter? Yeah, to the group. All right. We're going to add Peter to our group. So we're onboarding. No, we're going to go to our groups, actually. We'll just go to our groups. That's the easiest way. I mean, you can do it from Peter's profile, too, if you want. Let's go to our accounts group. Add members. I'm going to add a user now. Test genius. All right. So test Peter is going to be added to the group. I'm going to go back to our calendar. Let's do a refresh here. Let's go and look at our event. Peter has showed up there. Now let's go to Peter's email. Ta -da! Peter just got an invitation to that weekly recurring meeting. How good is that? So what we've just done here is we've set this up so that on somebody's first day to onboard them, all you need to do is create a user account, add them to the right groups, and they're going to immediately see all the shared drives pop up that they have access to. And they're immediately going to see in their inbox, a bunch of invitations flow through for all of the recurring meetings for their team. And if that's a weekly all hands, if that is their department meeting, as long as you, every time you set up a meeting, you invite a group and you put the right people in the right groups when you onboard them, this is all, boom, automated. All automated for you. Pretty dope. So if you haven't already worked it out, we can also do this with our chat pretty much anywhere where you have permissions inside of Google Workspace. So, so inside of chat, we'll go to our test teams that we set up and we go add people and apps, test accounts. And that's going to basically invite everyone on that team. So when we look at anyone who's in there, you can see that test accounts, five people have been added 
And at that point, I'd probably remove anyone manually that you may have added in there previously, if they're not a part of the group, and then just stick to group-based permissions. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.